We unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Coming to your live box and ego unpack. Yeah. We unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Former Tyson Fury cornerman and cut man addressed the tampering allegations and attempted to prove that Tyson Fury was innocent. But information comes out that might shock you. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Notification gang. Please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, I told you the Tyson Fury glove gate, it ain't going nowhere. We still looking into it. We doing our own vigilante style um, investigation and leave it to Young Forensic Files. I pulled up a piece of information that I think is valuable regarding the guy, the corner man, ex-cutman in the auto violin fight with Tyson Fury, who... Did this whole demonstration for WBN, link in the description in case you want to check it out. I made a video about it, disputing the their findings or whatever. And he attempted to, you know, jump on a horn and actually absolve Tyson Fury of any wrongdoing. It says, World Boxing News, World Exclusive. Tyson Fury Cornerman addresses glove tampering allegations. I'm just going to quickly recap because I've already made a video about this. In this article by Phil J, link in the description, he had a, a student or a son or, you know, relative, nephew, whatever, and he put on gloves, no hand wraps, and he was attempting to show how it was properly worn and properly wrapped, and he kept, it was really just a voiceover where he's talking and the guy is acting like punching, but the thing is, the kid punching or whatnot, his gloves ain't flipping and flopping and bending and doing what Wilder in the Wilder fight we seen with Tyson Fury's gloves. So it really didn't repel the glove gate notions. The other thing that the quick thing to point out is if you look at his gym, it's riddled with Tyson Fury posters and memorabilia. It's like, you know, a, a teenage girl that likes NSYNC or something wearing an NSYNC t-shirt and JT t-shirt and all this. So you look at this picture from the video, you see Fury pictures everywhere. They even had, I think the sombrero from the fight where he dressed up and had that ring walk in auto violin and his shirt right there is a gypsy king tyson fury shirt so i told you from the beginning this is clearly a bias test you know so i don't even know why this article even came out you have tyson fury souvenirs and memorabilia and commemorative gloves and stuff you're wearing a gypsy king tyson fury brand shirt and you used to work for him right and you're telling us he didn't do anything, but you're not even really explaining, nor is the, the demonstration showing how you get the gloves to, to, you know, look like bags of air, airbags or whatever. Right. So that was the article and that was the demonstration. And I told you from the jump, it didn't really prove anything. And, you know, they even cite Steve Cunningham. Steve Cunningham said, I thought that people were playing about the gloves, but then I watched the video, said Steve Cunningham. Yes, and this is the first fight, but whose gloves been back like this? Mine have never done that, and I've been boxing since 96. And in this article, this half-assed article that tried to dispel the Tyson Fury glove gate, despite Steve Cunningham and Charles Martin and George Grove saying it's improperly worn, people like Dewey Cooper and other people, myself, Young Pharaoh, different people having suspicions about this they just transition from steve cunningham saying anybody who thinks his knuckle look if you believe his hand is in the glove all the way then something is wrong with you steve cunningham pointed out his knuckles are in the wrist part of the glove so this is beyond a conspiracy you have professional fighters who think something is up and it looked too floppy for them as well you know but once again, articles like this in old media, they try to relegate it to, oh, it's just sour grapes. You know, black people are angry and can't accept the loss. That's not even doesn't even make sense. Kawasaki beat Bernard Hopkins. Kovalev beat Bernard Hopkins, nearly stopped him. You know, Joe Smith Jr. recently beat Jesse Hart, nearly stopped him. 
and nobody had any problem with any of those. Carl, I could do this all day. Carl Frotch, Jermaine Taylor, none of these. No, no, no one questioned Joe Smith Jr.'s power, his gloves being worn improperly, and him beating Jesse Hart. If anything, I told you it was BS on behalf of Joe Smith Jr. because one of the judges, I believe, had it for Jesse Hart, and there's no way he won that fight. So I actually vouched for Joe Smith Jr. So don't let old media distract you. All this sour grapes and stuff. Nobody is actually taking the easiest thing to refute, which is explain how his glove looks manipulated and tampered and moving, especially this Jorge Capetillo. So if that wasn't enough, the T-shirt, you know, my video, we got some more information. Once again, Young Forensic Files Ego. So this same cornerman, Jorge Tapatillo, Ca excuse me, Capetillo. Jorge Capetillo, right? Who helped save Tyson Fury's eye in the violin fight. Jorge Capetillo. If that wasn't enough, here, I'm going to add this. Tyson Fury's cut man on treating the cut. So he was, you know, interviewed about the auto violin cut and what he did. He says it was a really bad cut. He also is on record with the boxing voice saying Tyson Fury gave his cut man, Jorge Capetillo, a cash bonus for helping his eye. So the guy vouching for you, right, was awarded a cash bonus because you helped his eye and the fight could have been stopped, should have been stopped actually in the Otto Violin fight because the cut was deep and it was bad. So he's saying the cut was deep and it was a really bad cut. And because of his work in the corner, Tyson Fury awarded him. So of course, in my opinion, in my opinion, you look at that and you're like, okay, now I can understand why he would vouch for somebody he was working with. He, he got a cash bonus from him. You don't, you know, you left amicably. The only reason you got replaced is because he went with the most noted cut man, which is Stitch Duran. So, you know, no love lost. So he's doing this whole exercise. Now, Forensic Files, the investigative work has paid off. Do you guys know that this man who did the demonstration on World Boxing News to, you know, exonerate Tyson Fury of any wrongdoing and tampering with gloves, even though he didn't really demonstrate how Tyson Fury was able to flick the wrist. Tyson Fury, it wasn't just a flick of the wrist. He was throwing hooks and his glove looked like it was like parasailing and flinging forward and stuff. So it wasn't just like flick jabs and stuff that looked weird, right? So the man that was trying to attempt through this video to clear his name, this is his social media. That's him standing up with the black sweater. He has the hoodie, Capitillo, and TM Boxing Gym. And this man right here, you see it says Capitillo Boxing Academy. That, my friends, is Jorge Capitillo, right? And we gotta cover our checks. It says, gracias, mi tío Javier Capitillo, right? Me Tio. That's his uncle. Watch. I'm going to show you guys. I, I have to cover my tracks. My uncle. See? Uncle. Tio. He said crack. So you guys seen that? So my Spanish is on point. He said, me tío, right? So that's the guy in the video trying to clear Tyson Fury's name. And he says, shout out to my tío, which is his uncle, right? You see, you see that? Jorge Capetillo, gracias to mi tío, Javier Capetillo. Javier Capetillo, boom, we got action. Do you guys realize that his uncle was involved in one of the most scandalous boxing hand wrap um controversies that recent boxing has seen capatillo breaks silence apologizes for a hand wrap scandal this is the man from the margarito paris of plaster his his uncle is the man from the margarito paris of plaster scandal and this is who he's with just last year and it's clearly his family la familia Javier Capetillo celebrates with Antonio Margarito in happier times. 
Capio ha Capatillo has kept a low profile since their hand wrap scandal rocked the boxing world in early 20, 2009. But the controversial trainer broke his silence to criticize Margarito's co-manager, which we don't worry about that. This is the guy from the Margarita. This is the trainer. However, the man who is at the center of the hand wrap controversy, Margarito's former trainer, Javier Capatillo, has not been heard from since hearing at which California officials revoked Margarito's license. Capatillo held his tongue for more than a year and a half as he was vilified in the media and beyond. But the 60-year-old trainer broke his silence Tuesday, right? In an exclusive interview with Ring Magazine. So this is a credible boxing source. You know, obviously their rankings are, are biased and stuff like that, but they, they report news and have, you know, interviews. They got that part on lock. Capatillo has been estranged from Margarito since the commission hearing that resulted in the revocation of their licenses, but... So he got his license revoked, but it's evident that he misses his training with his pupil. Margarita is going to win against Pacquiao. That's what he's saying. I say that because I know that Antonio is in great shape. I know him very well as a person, as a fighter. I know that Margarito cannot be associated with me because of what happened. If we do speak, that's something I have to keep to myself because I don't want the media and the public to come down on him for what I did. But I'll say this, despite what he said on TV, I know he still respects me and I have no sore feelings towards him. Although Capitillo said he deserved the California Commission's punishment, he still feels that Margarito's team, headed by blah, 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 could have supported him more during and after the hearing. Bro. So this is WBN's credible um, person. His uncle, once again, his uncle, Javier Capatillo, is involved in the dead center of the biggest scandal with modern. Because you have you have Billy Collins Jr. and Resto, a top ranked card. You had Margarito Cotto, a top ranked card. You had Margarito and Shane Mosley. And it wasn't discovered by the commission. Like I've been saying, it was discovered by Shane Mosley's then trainer, brother Nassim Richardson, that he had used something on the hand wraps and something was wrong. And they found out it had been dipped in, you know, Paris of plaster, which hardens to make more impactful punches. So he was clearly cheating. And by the judging of Kodo's face, it looked like that fight, you know, even though it was no way to really prove it because it didn't get caught at the time based on the condition of Cotto's face, which looked like Wilder's face, right? Which looked like Wilder's. Wilder's face welled up more than we've ever seen. You know, Cotto's face looked horrible. Those are all top rank cards. Resto, Collins, Margarito versus Cotto, Margarito versus Mosley, and now Wilder versus Fury. So, and this is, this is, his uncle was at the helm of, in the center of all of it. So, Who's to say that he didn't learn tricks from his uncle that's in the same exact industry? You know, and this is the person doing the seminar and you want me to believe he's non-biased, but his uncle has that on his jacket, which his uncle could have taught him things or taught him boxing or I don't know. I don't know if it's a family business, but either way, it don't look too good. And on top of that, like I said, he has Tyson Fury posters everywhere. I mean, this is just crazy. This is just a nightmare. This is a nightmare. And like I said, he's saying he got a cash bonus for saving his eye. So I can understand why he would possibly remain silent and stuff. You know, Margarito's license revoked for plaster light wraps. And his uncle was the trainer that did that. You can't make this stuff up. They always say that truth is stranger and funnier than fiction. You can't make these things up. And this is him with his uncle just last year. That's his uncle sitting down, bro. And you want me to believe that Tyson Fury, even though no one's accurately depicting what he did and showing how you make your glove bend and then launch forward like a catapult and look like it's a bag full of change or a pillowcase full of bars of soap or whatever. And then now the guy who's clearing his name is related to, you know, the nephew of the guy involved in the Margarito scandal. Unbelievable unbelievable that's why sometimes you got to say less world 
worldboxingnews.net they, they in, in the effort to protect tyson fury they just put on the stand a witness whose credibility is now in question new media young forensic files it ain't over so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing.